take a look at the beast back nine hole one very challenging hole or at least it can be uh, there are multiple hazards uh, to be found here and let's let's start out taking a look at those uh, and just talk about them briefly um, first off you'll notice the OB line is the same color as the line for the soccer field and so that can get a little confusing uh, it's a little bit thinner but really hard to discern that so uh, I wish they had made them different colors but anyway the first hazard you, hazard you may encounter are oh, there's four trees that are actually in the OB if you hit any of these one two three four you're going to be OB there's a fifth one that's just over the OB line if you hit that one you, you may bounce back into the OB I'd say probably 30 percent chance of that happening most of the times it'll skip just over the OB line um, if you come too far to the left with your drive and hit this fence uh, that just did uh, <laughs> I thought that was going to be OB uh, if you hit this fence you're probably going to be OB most of the time a lot of times it just drops straight down uh, particularly with a drive so let's try that again the OB line is outside the fence so that's what you're normally going to see if you hit that fence so another hazard there uh, this second fairway very narrow and on both sides we have an OB line on the outside of the fence and if your disc comes in really hard at an angle like this this fence will grab the disc and just drop it straight down OB and up here we have OB line that runs through these hay bales and if you go on the other side you can see the line if you go on the other side of these hay bales OB <laughs> and so uh, and another hazard is from this basket to this OB line back here which is kind of hard to see but it runs under these banners is uh, right at 50 feet so when you're talking about your approach shot uh, unless you're running the eagle because you have to uh, or you're just really you know <laughs> really brave uh, you usually want to come up short of this basket uh, oh and these are these guardian uh, protective covers around these four trees uh, and the trees themselves that's another uh, little hazard if you will an obstacle so so that's a tour of everything that you can find that you don't want to find so so the disc I use is the glide skip rive if you don't have that you could probably use the glide roll rive the windbreak glide rive uh, probably some other ones but uh, you really you really want a long precision drive so you're not left with a huge second shot it becomes really tricky and I have a couple of different aim points uh, my aim point usually is right there uh, the right side of that uh, circle on the soccer field but with this three wind out of the right I move it way down here and I always still adjust the release angle depending on the wind uh, with this wind I'm going to come straight back with that adjusted aim point it should get me safely on the corner here still a long way away that's a challenging win and I want to take 50 feet off of that on my approach that's my rule of thumb so I want 320 that's a warship and I also want to stay well to the right because I don't want to slam against that fence so with this wind I'm gonna to need to come out probably like this somewhere hope I get a look at the basket and it looks like I do 
55 feet to the birdie so uh, it's uh, it's a very challenging hole <laughs> particularly in adverse winds now this is actually a favorable wind so here I'm gonna go back to my sort of default aim point which is the right side of that circle and we're gonna go about three quarters to a disc worth of hyzer something about like so probably you have to give it some hyzer because you want it to make this corner the other hazard is this OB line on the right there if you uh, if you're not careful this one I could I could probably run this for the Eagle if I was daring uh, and we'll run it because you know it's a video so uh, 150 160 with the three wind, I'm going to take off 10. That's 150. It's downhill a little bit, so I'm going to go 140. Let's see. And that's a pretty rare eagle. We'll do one or two more here. Hopefully get some different winds. Let's see what we get. All right, with this wind, we're going to go with the glide skip again. Default aim point. And here, because... I don't have the nice wind out of the left that's going to keep me out of those initial trees. I'm going to give it a little bit of Anheuser, probably about a quarter to a half a disc worth, and just keep it out there to the right, hopefully. Ideally, I want to be to the right of those trees like that. That's pretty good. I like that. And then 212. Uh, I'm not going to run this for the eagle. I'm going to take 50 feet off. So let's round it to 220 and make it 170. And we're going to go about to here. It doesn't matter if you're shooting up in here or not. And that gives us the easy birdie. So, all right. So, yeah, that's a quick look at uh, the beast. Back nine, hole one. This is one that I would definitely recommend going into practice mode and whatever disc you have in your bag, uh, you know, throw some shots and various winds, see what you get. All right, I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you learned something. And as always, we'll see you around the valley.